James Hardy's 10th and 11th touchdowns of 2007 gave him 31 for his career at IU, a new school record. But it was another loss, and win number six is still one away. It was just a wonderful moment for myself uh, in the Indiana program after the game. I mean, after I scored the first time he came over and congratulated me, um, it was just a beautiful thing. The leaders of the team made sure that we walk out with our heads held high. Uh, we played a good game. We just had a lot of turnovers. Um, and now we just got to come in and fix what we've done wrong and try to get one against Wisconsin. He also extended the school record he set against Michigan State with his 12th career 100-yard game and moved into second place in career receptions and receiving yards. Hardy had a great day. Uh, you know, he gets better and better every week. I didn't come here to break records. I came here to help uh, build a program and get to this bowl victory. So, I mean, it's an honor for my name to be at the top of that list, but at the same time, my goals are not are not done. And James Hardy finished with 14 receptions for 142 yards and those two touchdowns. And he'll look to add to those records against Wisconsin. From Memorial Stadium, I'm Patrick Hurley, who's your Sports Night. After starting the season with the nation's longest active winning streak, the Wisconsin Badgers had fallen in two straight contests, something head coach Brett Bielema and his Badger crew haven't been accustomed to during his tenure there. The Badgers were trying to right the ship last weekend in a non-conference matchup against Northern Illinois. Camp Randall Stadium, the home of the Wisconsin Badgers, a furry fighting animals game, battle of animal domination. First path, Tyler Donovan finds Garrett Graham wide open touchdown Badgers, and the dominance of the furry animal would continue. P.J. Hill, from 72 yards out, he's going to take it all the way for a touchdown. That's 14 to nothing in favor of the Badgers. P.J. Hill, a man among boys. He ran for 184 yards, two touchdowns. We might show you that one if you're a little bit lucky later on in the program. In the second quarter, the first play of the second quarter, that's Chris Presley, the king is in the house. He's a human bulldozer. Touchdown Badgers, 21 to nothing. Then in the third quarter, the Huskies are like, dude, where's our blocking? A swarm of Badgers takes down quarterback Ryan Morris. You, sir, on Wisconsin are super duper. And in the third quarter, again, it's P.J. Hill. From one yard out, thank you sir, may I have another? The furry animal dominance in Madison. The Badgers win 44-3. Despite their most recent setback, the Hoosiers still have four games left to pick up their sixth win and become bowl eligible. Now next week, IU will travel to Madison to take on the Badgers of Wisconsin at noon. Now that game will be on the Big Ten Network. And the week after that, the Hoosiers return home for a non-conference battle against interstate foe Ball State. Then on November 10th, Indiana will travel north to Evanston, Illinois to round out the road portion of their Big Ten schedule against the Northwestern Wildcats. Finally, the Hoosiers are coming back home on November 17th to finish out the regular season against arch rival Purdue. Now when we return here on Hoosier Sports Night, we'll take a stroll down memory lane, a look at Kelvin Sampson's first season at IU. Also coming up, we'll hear from Coach Sampson about this year's basketball team. Keep it right here. You're watching Hoosier Sports Night on IUS TV.